What is dude behind you? Dude! Dude! What? Oh, shit! Oh, dude, don't, come on, don't come at me with that knife. They, oh, oh! God, she just stabbed my leg! Dude, what the hell? Oof. All right. So this next part, like I said, the boat typically takes me like half an hour to get through. Um, so if we're at about an hour and 40, we should finish by 2.10, 2.15. Um, and if that's the case, then uh, that only gives us like 15 minutes in the mines, which is kind of enough time, but still cutting it close. Um, so shit. I'm, I'm sure That's okay, man. Help. The tape, yeah. That tape on the Apparently fucking boat. I Apparently I belong here. I'll send help. Don't bother. There won't be anyone left to help. Oof. Don't cry. Woo, it's gonna be a photo finish. Yeah, it will eat feet, that's for sure. Cause even though getting here in like an hour and a half, hour forty is that's awesome. Like the the boat, I I get turned around on the boat. Even though we did okay last time we played, and we didn't get as turned around as I thought I would, it's still. And it may help that we played it as recently as like two weeks ago. So, um, because I might remember, I just gotta remember, on the tape, you gotta just follow the elevator up and down a couple times, uh, to find Ethan or not Ethan, uh, but to to get the, you know, um, find your partner, um. And then in the real world, it's finding Ethan. And so it's getting the, from the bottom of the stairs on the first floor, you got to get the, um, the fuse. And then you got to get the cable from the fourth floor, I think, or the third floor. After you go up and down and unlock everything. Um, we're probably not going to go to the captain's quarters to get that gun because we did that last time and we've really never used it. Um, Cause once we get the inventory chest, she can she just gets all of her shit try so uh yeah it doesn't really matter is that the boat the fuck did that get here you got this seek thank you angel uh, i would have gone on the boat and sailed off with the middle finger raised up high <laughs> i don't think you're sailing this motherfucking thing this thing looks dead dead on arrival oh, you're okay what the hell was that What the fuck? What is that? What is that? Nice. Ooh, excuse me. Yanni yon yon. Getting tired. Alright, alright, alright. Gotta get through this. Um, it's so we need three two things to activate the the elevator. It's the cord and the fuse. Alright. This is the part we gotta rush through. Is it's like it's it, I like that too that it mirrors the beginning of the game when you play as Mia here, because it's like Ethan's beginning where you have to do these events, to uh, to get through things and there's not a lot of fighting in the beginning, um, so I like that when you play as Mia it eases you back into it, even though her gameplay is this exact same as Ethan's. <laughs> All right, duck. Stand, Ethan. Nice. Ethan? Ethan? Uh, so back to work tomorrow, Seek? Yeah, man. I'm back tomorrow. I got a long day tomorrow. Pretty much almost another open to close shift, which they typically seem to put me on on Sundays. Um, and uh, so I'm not going to stream tomorrow night, uh, most likely. And probably not Monday either, because at that point we'll get the, uh, the new computer. Hopefully it's supposed to come in on Monday. And uh, hopefully I get it. Hopefully I don't miss UPS because I think I work Monday too. Um, and uh, I'm gonna mess around with that. I'm gonna set that up. I'm gonna look at OBS again and try to see if th th that's something that's a possibility if we could play PC games. Um, you know, could be fun. So I'm gonna mess around with the the new laptop on Monday, and then uh, and then we'll come back on. Um, Tuesday with with uh, Halo 2 
And then after we beat Halo 2, we'll play like another two or three episodes of Dead Space. And then play Halo 3 and, you know, we'll go back and forth until we finish uh, Dead Space. And then after that, we'll probably just solely focus on the Halo games. But yeah, what about you guys? Are you guys, are you off this weekend? All weekend, Eat Feet? Did I remember you saying that before? I got turned around. I was, I was like, I was thinking of the other stairwell. Anybody go see Wonder Woman this weekend? Um, I won't, we won't do spoilers in here, but um, I just want to know if anyone else saw it, if they liked it. It did $11 million Thursday night, which is pretty good. Because um, I know the, the, the tra this movie was tracking. Now, tracking is it's hit or miss, but it's usually low. They always like kind of lowball it because then if it comes out better, then the, there's all those headlines like, oh, look at that. We better than tracking. And, you know, one, you know, once again, tracking doesn't prove anything or whatever like it's like a there's like ebb and flow to all that bullshit it's all well crafted it's uh people uh think it's oh look see they were wrong it's like yeah they were wrong on purpose <laughs> um but yeah i'm i'm interested to see what its final numbers are tomorrow oops uh, or monday i'm sorry monday morning they'll give us the final numbers they'll predict project what it did tomorrow but the final numbers I think will come in on Monday oh shit um she looks cool but I'm with Batman on this lol yeah <laughs> you're on you're on the Batman train uh, the Wonder Woman movie's fantastic though I, I will say it's it's really great yeah, have this weekend off. Haven't put on pants since 6 p.m. yesterday. LOL, I want to see it. I want to see it, but I have to wait till I get paid next Friday. Oh, no problem. Well, you probably also don't want to put pants on. <laughs> um, well, that's cool. Help those second week weekend numbers. I might go see it again next, because uh, as you guys know, we I saw it a couple weeks ago. Um, but I, I want to see it again. I want to pay to see it. I want to contribute to the movie's money. Um, and it's a bummer, too, because I've seen actually... A, couple of two other big summer movies that are coming out this summer and i i can't talk about them um but uh, one of them wasn't even finished so uh i i don't even want to say what i think of that one even if i could which i can't because uh, i signed a bunch of forms but um i don't even want to talk about it anyway because it's not the final product so i'm like really jazzed to see it a second time and i was able to give some input um, on on it, on the story too. So, or on like some things about it. So, oh, I did it again. That's Madhouse mode. Seek. All right. So we got that. Cool. Um. But yeah, so I've seen a couple movies this year unfinished, and I typically don't like to talk about them because they're not finished. Like it's it's because they give they do those focus groups and they do stuff like that, and they get and they, um, you know, like we did that for what was it uh, Independence Day last year, uh, Alex and I, uh, and oh, we we're supposed to go off on get off on this floor. Um, and I, I you know I I typically want to wait and see the final product. Although I will say I did never I never did go see. Independence Day. Um, what? Why? Um, I, ne I never did go rewatch that one. I didn't like it. <laughs> um, but those those are those are fun because then they afterwards they pick uh, focus group people and they ask them questions about the movie and stuff like that on things like like that. So it's cool they do that. It's it's a nice thing. It's one of the perks of living out here is when I'm too broke to go see a movie, I just keep an eye out on the GoFobo invites and try to predict like, oh, this is a they're doing a screening at Sony or at Fox. Uh, that must be something they have coming out in the next couple months. Let me go to their website and see which, what are the choices. And if I think there's a pretty good chance it's something I want to go see, I take a risk and I go see it. Like when we saw Independence Day, I thought it was going to be X-Men Apocalypse, but because the, they came out within like a month of each other. And I was like, oh, it could be Apocalypse. And it turned out to be Independence Day. And so sometimes it's a gamble, but 
It's usually a good way to, for me to see something and still save some money because of how broke I am. All right. Yeah, her imprinting protocol. So that's another reason why Mia was kept alive and why she looks at her as like a mother type because she's in kind of invulnerable. Or at least it took time for Evelyn to get around that stuff. Yeah, so we have we have this. We don't need uh Nope. Wait. All right, here we go. Let's hope I do all this correctly. Because this is not a good time for me to slow down. Here we go. I hope you speed things up. <laughs> yeah. Because this is where I always, like, eat time. Is like, the beginning of the game... Like, the middle of the game is pretty easy to get through. Like, Marguerite's battle and Lucas's stuff, that's usually you can get through that pretty quickly. But, uh, this is where I always screw it up. she going first floor or s2 she went to s2 Whew, here we go I get so nervous in this part because, I mean, it's a pretty basic layout, this this boat. It's not like I, I just get confused on where to go next. I, I, that's where I fuck up. That guy's dead. There is a coin in that thing, but you can't get it till the present day, and even then, um, you have to use a whatchamacallit to get it. This might be a good time for us to pick up um, some healing stuff for Ethan. Just put it in our inventory. Do this. Whew, my goodness. It's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting because I know it's going to be a photo finish. Like, uh, um, or I hope it's going to be a photo finish because we're getting, we're making good time, but not great time, right? Like, like I said, most people have beaten the game by now. Most good speedrunners. Obviously, I'm, I never claim to be a good speedrunner, but I do my best. But as far as what we're trying to do, beat it in two and a half hours. Uh, it's good, but it's it's not great. Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things. Uh, do you have to uh, do you have to carry the gun in the hand all the time? Um, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. I think you can hit um, right. Um, like, or if you don't have a... No, I don't. I have. No, I, I have weapons. If you don't, if you have a, a, a spot that's empty where you're not holding any weapons, um, yeah, I think you you can like hit. Like, if there was no no bombs in my right uh, D-pad position, I could uh, hit right and then I think have no weapons. I think that's possible. go. <sighs> oh, you little... Top floor, third floor, I think. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So yeah, if I didn't have something in my inventory slot there, I, I, I think I could run around with no gun. All right. The tape is, I think, the longest part. The main boat stuff you can get through in like 15 minutes um, if we do exactly what we're supposed to do and skip a few little things. Go, go, go. Okay. Going up. So, let's say hello to present day us, because they're sitting right here in this room. And then I think this is the end of the tape. Or close to it. And again, everyone who's here, thank you again for being here. And if you're watching later on YouTube, thank you for watching part two of this seek run slash speed run. That little bitch. She never trusts. Okay. Wait. Evie, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, Evie. whoa. Alan, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie. trying to take control. <laughs> you have to fight her. Easy for you to say. She's got devices in her programming that prevents her from kicking over you so easily. I just have to fight her. Stop yeah. Right <laughs> I'm curious to see how Ethan was able to kind of fight her off and why she didn't just fully consume Ethan. Like, why toy with him, cut off his hand using the bakers? Like, you know. And she picked him to be, she picked Ethan to be the new father because, like, oh, it's, you know, Mia is the mother. And she's like, so I want, Ethan, she loves Ethan still after all these years. So I want him to be the father. I'll lure him here. Um, oh yeah, this isn't the end yet. So I'm not going to go to the computer, because if you go to the computer, that takes up a few minutes, where she re-records the, the thing she did at the beginning of the game. Um, so if we go to that computer, that's, that's a no-no. We're going to run around it, and just go right to the end. I know in most RE games, when you don't have a gun equipped, it helps with your speed. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I know that is definitely the case in most RE games. 
Finally a movie we can skip. <laughs> There's not that many in the game. But I remembered that being one of them. Although the load time's still going to kill us, but I don't think they count the load times. I don't even really think they count the cutscenes either, but... Uh, but yeah, you're right. In, and I see speedrunners, uh, speed when they play the classic RE games, they typically don't have guns equipped um, to get through it faster, or a knife, maybe. That could be the case in this one. I personally don't know if that does anything. But that would be neat if they kept it in like that. Because the gun, you're not running with it equipped, you know? Like uh, in a lot of those other RE games. Well, I guess we kind of are, aren't we? Because when we're running, we can see the gun in front of us. Yeah, uh, maybe that's maybe it is. Because even if it's like a nanosecond faster, speedrunners will do it. Because they, nanoseconds are like a matter to them, you know, big time. Oh, come on, load time. Like I said, luckily it's not uh, charging us for this. It's it's not going to count it, but... Uh, Fahad, what's up, Fahad? When I knew that Mia was involved in the subject after the operation of this tape, I was shocked because it is unusual to be a virus fighting, fighter involved with the company in the game's Resident Evil, but the beautiful thing is to play the second character important... Play the second character important story for a little time in the rest of the game's Resident Evil. Yeah, you know, I like that too, Fahad. W welcome, by the way. Everybody, shout out to our our new friend, Fahad Maji. Uh, wait, is it M-A-G-L? Uh, or M-A-G-I? Uh, sorry, my, my screen is kind of fucked up. Um, but uh, good point. I like that too, that you play as Mia, so you can kind of get into her... Psyche, you can understand why because that's my biggest thing in stories is I just want to know why Characters act the way they do so to play this part of the game as Mia is nice because then you're like You, you know you you kind of understand her in a way All right, I'll get that chem Contents have been taken And am I saying that right Fahad is that am I correct? Um, all right, we don't need that. We don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. We don't need the computer. It's broken. I think we just got to get on the elevator. Yeah. All right. So we go up here, we grab everything we can. We're not going to worry about the um, coming back up here for the machine gun because hopefully we'll find an inventory chest and uh, by then and get the get the Albert back. And the Albert's really the only gun I need for the most part, minus like the grenade once we go as, I mean, as her. Uh, when we play as Ethan, I'll need the shotgun and the grenade launcher, but... Floor S2. What a coinky dink. Okay. Can almost see his face. He's like Batman. Stop it, Evelyn. I was just trying to help you beat Dead Eyes Time. Oh, that's cool. No, I, I appreciate it, uh, uh Angel. <laughs> I just uh like I'm right now I'm running around with no weapons and she doesn't seem to be going any faster than when I had her in the tape. Um, so, uh, it doesn't seem to be the case, but, uh, then again, you know, I don't know for sure. Yeah, so we don't need to come back up here. Um, we're going to try to save time by not coming back up here. Because going up the stairs, and then we have to fight that monster, then running, it would, that would cost us like three minutes, and I'm telling you, it's already going to be a photo finish, so, uh, to try to beat it in less than two and a half hours, so I don't want to tempt fate with, uh, something we don't really need. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I can't wait for Angel to, to do the attempt because I have a feeling Angel's going to, uh, you know, come out on top and, and, and beat both Deadeye and I. Um, all right, so we're going to go down. And we're going to get the fuse. Run back over here. And get the fuck out of Dodge.
gun. Okay. Have the fuse? Okay. Shit. Here we go. Whew. That was almost bad. Climb up. So we'll go in here and get infinite, infinite, uh, infinite ammo. And then save. Um, put that away. Keep that. Do we have an herb? No. Infinite ammo and the Albert. Okay. And we'll check our time here. Give me two weeks to learn it and I will do the final speed run live. Nice. All right. Do your thing, Angel. And you can watch me in Dead Eyes tapes to uh, help you. Two hours and one minute. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> the pressure's on. Um, I'm trying to think of where I got to go. I know I got to go this way. I get this stuff. Okay. We got that. We got to get to the third floor. How do we do that? I think through this. Yep. Whew. Thank God that worked, because I honestly was like, if this doesn't open, I don't know what the fuck to do. All right, we got, we got less than 30 minutes to beat this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Two weeks is a good time. It's a good time to learn it. Um, oh, man. I can't wait to watch you play that, Angel. That would be good. Because I'll be sitting here, like, on the edge of my seat going, like, shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's Madhouse mode, seek. Fuck off with the coins. Just keep going. Here he comes. All right. Did we just run around him? Yeah, we did. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. That was good timing. That was good time. All right. Feel a little bit better. Feel a little bit better right now. Shit, here we go. So we got to go down S2. All right. That's a quiet elevator. I didn't even know we were moving. I was like, shit, did I not press the button? The heat is on. The heat is on. Oh shit, did it die? That's good. It's good to know. All 
All right. Just keep it moving. See, keep it moving. We're almost there. Oh, shit. Shit. Don't crawl near me. Shit. Handgun ammo? Nah. Might as well get this since we have the extra. The coin. Man, I'm getting nervous. I know, right? Shit. Oh my god. Ethan. All right. Checkpoint reached. Man, I'm getting nervous. I'm so fucking nervous. Oh my goodness. can't skip this. Yeah, we can't skip this. Damn it. <clears throat> Eat feet. You're getting nervous. Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. So we're... I think we're around like the two hour and ten minute marker. Probably right now. So we have 20 minutes to beat the game after this cutscene. Oh my god. When we get out to that shed, like out when we play as Ethan, and we get out to that little shed and we can pick up the extra backpack and then the extra, we can get our inventory items back, we'll save there and look at our time and see where we are. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be photo finish, man. We got through the boat. That was pretty quick. I mean, I know we're not technically done with the boat yet, but pretty good. I'm not nervous. I'm super brave, Ryan says. <laughs> you are Just an overabundance of bravery. You can't resist the urge to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Deadeye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is Deadeye here? Is he still sitting on the floor? Or is he pacing back and forth, biting his nails? <laughs> when he came in the stream earlier, he was like, sitting on the floor watching. Like, all, all good and um, confident. Why do you need to beat it in a certain time? What's up, Shazzy? How's it going? Um, we just have, like, a friendly uh, wager going on. I have a personal, like, most of the other old RE games, if you beat in less than two and a half hours, you got, like, a bonus thing, obviously, um, in some of the original ones. So I've always held that as the standard to try to beat every Resident Evil game by, if I can. Five and six, I don't think you can... I mean, I'm sure a speedrunner could, but I cannot beat those games in that time because they're long games and there's long levels and stretched out and stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've never had any luck doing it on that on RE5 and 6. Um, but at least for this one, I was like, oh, it's po possible, maybe. Um, and so my personal best time on here is 2 hours and 36 minutes. And then our friend Joe after work, his was 2 hours and 34 minutes. And Deadeye is 2 hours and 32 minutes. So just between, like, us friends, 2 hours and 32 minutes is the best time. Um, between us. Obviously not in the world, but just the, between us. So, um, that's ultimately why I'm trying to beat it in that time. So, and we're also celebrating 300 followers on here. So I thought this would be a good way because I don't normally do s speed runs on my channel. So I figured this would be a good thing to do is something that's rare on this channel for hitting 300. We're also going to do another video later. Deadeye and I are going to eat like spicy food and, and, uh, it's going to be fun and painful for us, but fun for you guys. Um, but that won't, we won't be doing that till E3 in two weeks. So I just wanted to do something today since we hit 300 yesterday, uh, just to celebrate the, the 300 followers. Dude, this looks amazing. I'm not even lying. 
Well, oh, no way! What? Dude, his head. She threw his head at me. <laughs> what the?